Hello everyone, Wolfie here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what all their abilities do. Level 1. No upgrades, no talents, nothing special like that, just as if you jumped right into the game. This time, we have Voden. Voden is a ranged damage dealer with the tags Shooter and Utility. Now, it's interesting because his utility is not really about helping the team. Utility is more about his own self-preservation and also just being very mischievous and, and hard to pin down and find because he's got this neat little ability that makes a clone of himself and also turns him invisible. But before we get into that, let's quickly go over his stats. Voden has 1,650 health as well as 15 armor. So a little bit bulkier than the super squishy other shooters, uh, but not by too much. <laughs> anyway, let's go over his left mouse button first, which is called Arrowed. Hold down to charge and shoot arrows at just the basic charge. It does 165 damage. And then if you charge it all the way up to tier 2, 225 damage and increased projectile speed. It's increased projectile speed and distance if you have a, a larger charge. So distance, damage, and speed. And it looks like this. So... You hold it down and it's a bar very similar to Charnock where it just kind of starts a bar and then if you fill it all the way it becomes it a, a empowered projectile and you let it go and it travels forward and does damage and you can just very rapidly tap it you can tell it's just not as much damage but it's still a good amount but the uh you definitely want to try to get charge shots as often as possible and these do have a little bit of damage fall off but not a ton so if I'm if I'm way back here, then I'm starting to notice. But for the most part, pretty a uh, pretty good damage potential. He he can play he can play a lot further the way than you might think. Important to know though is that uh, arrow bow and arrow just as in real life, it is a projectile. This is not hit scan, so you do have to aim these a little bit better. But if you're around this range, like you can mostly aim at them because it is a very very fast projectile. Voden's right mouse button is called Poison Spores. Creates an area of poison underneath yourself that lasts for 6 seconds. Applies poison in the area, which reduces healing by 50%, and deals 21 damage per second. Basic attacks in the area apply poison, which is the same, it's the same exact poison, for, uh, but the poison lasts for 4 seconds and uh, deals the same amount of damage. So, this is what the ability looks like. If I walk up to, to Nasus here and I drop it, basically that area of effect is applying poison and the poison duration will stay even after it disappears because it lasts for four seconds either way but more importantly if you lay down the poison field and then fire your lmbs while you're standing in there your attacks will apply that poison and the attacks don't do more damage they just apply the poison so overall you're giving yourself more dps it also is a 13 second cooldown very uh, another important thing to know though it does not it does not say that it makes your arrows poisonous if they fly through. You have to be in the space. So even if I did this, and then from behind it, these attacks are not applying poison, even though they're technically going through the field along the way. So you do have to stand in the field for them to become poisoned. Next up is Voden's Q, which is called Green Man. Summons an attacking decoy that moves toward, towards the target area for five seconds. While the green man is summoned, you gain stealth. The decoy fires arrows that each deal 50 damage uh, per attack. Now, this says it fires up to three arrows. This is definitely false. This will just fire as many arrows as it can before it uh, before uh, the ability ends. So long as you're, um, so long as it's you know it has sight of something, it, it effectively is going to fire. And it doesn't fire as far as you can. It'll basically fire within. Being around this range or closer, it'll fire at something. And I think it just prioritizes the closest thing or just until it can't see the thing that it was firing at before. But it looks like this. So you target the space. This area is where your clone is going to go. This is where the decoy will slowly walk forward and then just fire along the way. And while, while he's moving, you turn invisible. And you'll remain invisible basically until uh, the, the ability ends or unless you attack. Because stealth does end if you make any sort of attacks or use any other moves. And you can't you can't sprint uh, while stealthed. 
this this is a, this is important to know. You you cannot sprint uh, during Voden's uh, stealth. You you are just kind of forced at this normal in combat walking speed. So not like a not like some other stealth characters. Uh, Imani can sprint while she's stealthed, and Trip can sprint while she's stealth. Voden cannot. So please do not forget that. Voden's last basic ability is called Hidden Spring. Creates a hidden uh, a healing puddle underneath yourself for th six seconds. Same duration as the poison puddle. Uh, it heals yourself and allies that are in the puddle by 45 per second. So it's a pretty nice self buffer. Uh, if you find yourself be like able to stay in one place and just kind of maneuver around while firing, this is really helpful. Really helpful for doing so. Excuse me, I hiccuped. Um, but just like a, a nice little, a nice little self healing, a little bit of area healing. And this is definitely a stronger ability with upgrades, but it's cool nonetheless. It's very nice just for himself, uh, for those one-on-one -on -one fights with another ranged uh, enemy. And lastly, we have Vodin's Focus, which is called Natural Roots. Shoot and grow roots at the target area. Enemies are immobilized and interrupted. Deals 225 damage on impact. And then uh, the damage increases per rank starting at 225 then 275 and the 350 and the duration of the immobilize increases per rank starting at two three and then four now this is this is interesting because it fires an arrow and you can attack you can hit someone with that arrow or it'll go where it'll, it'll the roots will spread starting from the center of where the arrow lands and i do believe i'm, I'm pretty confident that the arrow and the roots will both deal damage if you hit somebody with the arrow. So it looks like this. But this is the this is the area effectively, you know, when the arrow when the arrow lands, that's the area of effect. But you can hit Gnosis there, and then it'll also expand roots and immobilize everyone that's in that space. And the roots expand basically immediately. So the the entire area is affected all at the same time, even though it looks like they expand over the duration. It it definitely is immediate. The the animation is not immediate, but the effect is immediate. And this is one of the this is one of the few times where it shows an interrupt labeled correctly. So congratulations, you've you've found the one ability. Uh, and this upgrade does not have any, or sorry, this, this ability does not have any damage fall off for being further away. It'll always do that amount of damage. So this is a, this is a very good, you know, shut down, lock people down, stop them from moving sort of focus. There is a small delay though. Like there, there is a slight delay from when the arrow lands to when the route actually happens. That's another thing though that I, that I forgot to mention. If you hit the arrow directly, it does that damage and immediately roots them it re immediately immobilizes them and then everyone else slight delay like less than half of a second delay and that is it for Voden's kit very uh very interesting skill set uh but you know a lot of the damage comes from the lmb in fact almost all of it and then he's just got this extra little nuance of being able to poison a lot of people whether they're in front of him in the pool or if he can just land multiple arrows and then he's got you know the clone that lets him get away and a little bit of a, a little bit of healing so it's 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 a interesting mishmash but it all works really well and he's very fun so thank you guys for watching uh, i i appreciate you being here and make sure you leave comments and like and subscribe and all that stuff so thank you for watching yet again have a good day i will see you in the next one